Review, Lamborghini Huracan. Technica balances track and street driving in Corsa, track mode on the 1.8 mile south track at the Thermal Club outside of Palm Springs, California. The blue shift light tells me the naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V10 is approaching its 8500 RPM redline. The 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica's V10 is screaming like an angry hive of hornets. I hit the right side magnesium steering wheel shift paddle and the sweeping digital tachometer drops back down to 6500 RPM. The engine quickly builds toward the next blue warning. The Technica fills the gap between the Huracan Evo RWD base model and the track-focused, pulse-raising Lamborghini Huracan STO, though it features many of the STO's modifications. The engine tune is among them, and while the Technica is certainly a track machine, it's a more approachable supercar than the STO, making it more comfortable to drive day to day. Like any Lamborghini, it will take some time to figure out the Technica's quirky cues and controls, though, and I had to sort through them in my first couple of track stints. In my first experience with Corsa mode, I noticed red bars in the cluster that build toward the center, but the blue shift light caught me off guard, and I hit the rev limiter a couple times. But now I'm getting the shifts right so the V10 can tap into its full power. Compared to the 601 HP Huracan Evo RWD, the Technica has a freer flowing exhaust and a different tune for the ECU with more direct throttle response. The changes push the V10 to 631 HP and up the 417 LBFT torque peak from 5800 to 6500 RPM. That's no problem here. The V10 is a horsepower engine anyway, and if it has to rev higher to get the best power, I'm all for it. The V10 launches this 3040 LB dry weight car from 062 MPH in just 3.2 seconds and pushes it all the way to 202 MPH. You know, like you want for a street car. Part of my learning curve involves the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. It requires manual shifts in Corsa mode, but during my first run in Sport mode, I couldn't figure out how to get it to shift automatically. Engaging drive requires a simple pull of the right paddle, but the transmission doesn't go into automatic mode, which is indicated by an A in the instrument cluster, unless I hit the M button on the center console. That's counterintuitive. I'd expect M to switch to manual, but instead it toggles between the two. In sport, the upshifts are automatic even in manual mode, but the downshifts aren't. That left me bogged down in fifth gear and watching Lamborghini Super Trofeo racer Brandon Godovich hurtling far ahead in the first lead follow exercise. It's a quirk, but I caught on for my second 12-minute session. During my second run, I managed to get to automatic mode and found the transmission doesn't leave me stranded in a high gear but it also takes a while to get down to the lowest possible gear quickly and sometimes not at all. It does downshift without upsetting the car's balance, however. Still, the manual shifts in Corsa are more responsive and more fun. Corner balance. The South Palm circuit has a few corners that reveal the Huracan Technica's handling character, which varies by mode and is highly influenced by the rear wheel drive layout and standard rear axle steering. The Technica is always balanced, but it's more playful in sport mode. A couple of long, decreasing radius corners require patience to wait for late apexes. They can be managed by adding or subtracting light maintenance throttle and the occasional dab. But that's a significant improvement on a short 1.8 mile track, and the mode had to have something to do with it. The stability control settings for both modes are tuned for more fun and performance in the Technica than in the Evo. Another trait the Technica shares with the Huracan STO is super sharp steering that becomes immediately apparent on the track. The Technica turns in with purpose, and the steering has a little bit of weight and a stable feel. The rear axle steering can turn up to 3.0 degrees opposite of the fronts at speeds up to 37 mmph, and turn slightly with them above that speed. It helps the car rotate in the tight turns and helps stabilize the car in higher speed turns. Standard rear torque vectoring also shortens corners by sending more power to the outside wheel through turns. Aerodynamics also aid stability, though not nearly like they do in the STO. 60% of the Technica's body panels are new compared to the Evo RWD, and they were also developed to save weight. The rear engine cover and front hood are made of carbon fiber. The front fascia gets a new design with an air curtain, 
a first for the Huracan, and Amazon Alexa connectivity and plenty of interior colors for owners to personalize their cars. The Technica also has more sound deadener for a quieter cockpit. The Huracan Technica also splits the cost difference between the Evo and STO, with a starting price of $239,000. That's $26,000 more than the Evo, but almost $100,000 less than the STO, which has downforce only the most experienced track drivers will be able to utilize. For their money, Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.